Good afternoon. Welcome to Monthly's World the Weather Range with a forecast discussion from March 18th to April 1st. From March 18th to 22nd, we have a ridge here that remains near the Aleutians, and we have a trough near the west coast, and we have a west coast that moves inland. And the ridge is forecast over the northern Rockies, you can see right here, that slides eastward in time. So this trough will move inland here, and this will bring a period of unsettled weather um, to portions of the west. Now, um, we're going to get to this right away. Uh, we have a system here off the east coast, and you can see here Wednesday and Thursday, but um, the GFS... This is GFS we're looking at right now. It seems to be the coldest of the models and bringing snow to portions of the east, even down to the coast. You can see right here, ending on Monday morning. While the other models had the 540 line here, way across northern New England. This is European deterministics, so and not all in by doing this forecast. And here's the European ensembles, and that has the um, 540 line right through northern Pennsylvania. And southern New York State and I think if any snow will fall it'll fall up that area now we're calling for snow to fall across northern Pennsylvania into the Northeast and um, we will have several Pacific systems that will be pushing inland and this will bring uh, low elevation rain and high elevation snows for the northern California into the Northwest you can see right here There'll be several systems, one after the, the other. And then as the systems move east, they'll bring lighter precipitation to the Great Basin and the Central Rockies. We're going to look now at the period from March 23rd to 27th. And a ridge is forecast of the Northeast Pacific to the West Coast. You can see, we'll see here as it builds towards the West Coast. And eastern Canada and the eastern states, see we have another ridge here. And a trough extends from Alaska into the west. So the model's a pretty good agreement. So um, for this forecast period, I am forecasting below normal temperatures for this region here. And I'm forecasting anomalies to be near up to 8 degrees below normal. Above normal temperatures forecast for this region here with anomalies of 4 to 8 degrees above normal for precipitation. Calling for below normal precipitation for the West Coast states and for this area. Probability of occurrence is 35 to 45%. And above normal precipitation forecast for the Southern Rockies and the probability of occurrence is 35%. So now we're going to look at the period for March 28th to April 1st. And there be some eastward progression of the flow. We have this ridge that moves inland, pushing this trough to the east. And the GFS shows it the best this way. And then we look at the European, uh, the GEFS. It's weaker. Still see a little bit of troughingness there, but not much. And um, the European ensembles also shows a little bit of a trough. And the NAEFS also shows a little bit of trough, but almost a zone of flow. But still, the ridge here in the west, trough here across, um, you see, right? I think the pattern would be more like this. So for this forecast period, I am forecasting above normal temperatures here across this area. And anomalies of 6 to 12 degrees above normal are forecast. And... Below normal temperatures forecast is this region, and the anomalies would be near 2 degrees below normal for precipitation. Calling for below normal precipitation for this area here, the West Coast and Northern Rockies. Probability of occurrence is 35%. And then we have above normal precipitation forecast for the Arklatex region, and the probability of occurrence is 40%. That's the long range weather forecast discussion from March 18th to April 1st. Thanks for coming to Jim Munley's World of Weather and have a good day.